This is an introduction to some unique and very interesting I2C devices from the NXP I2C portfolio, the I2C bus controllers and I2C bridges. The first device I'll talk about is the I2C bus controller. Bus controllers serve as an interface between standard parallel bus microcontrollers or microprocessors and the serial I2C bus by allowing the parallel bus system to communicate bidirectionally with the I2C bus. A microcontroller with a hardware I2C bus or a software Bitbang I2C bus offers dramatic PCB space savings and the system can be easily expanded by clipping additional slave or master devices. The advantages of using an I2C bus controller are that the driver for the controller is relatively simple to write and will not tie up your microprocessing power as a Bitbang I2C port does. In addition, it has multi-master capability, glitch filters, bus error detection, and recovery functions. Data rates range from DC to 1 MHz, and data buffers range from 1 byte to 4 kilobytes. Coming soon is the new ultra-fast mode, which provides unidirectional I2C bus communications over a long distance at 5 MHz. In this comparison slide, you can see that the parallel bus communications between ICs require multiple interconnects, taking valuable PCB space and adding complexity to a design. The second graphic shows a microcontroller that has an I2C port, greatly simplifying the layout. The NXP family of bus controllers are used in applications where a microcontroller does not have an I2C port or an additional I2C port is needed. In this sample board I'm showing, there's an ARM7 microcontroller with a hardware I2C bus port which runs at the fast mode speed of 400 kHz. The parallel bus is connected to a PCA9665 I2C bus controller with master and slave capabilities and fast mode plus bus speeds of up to 1 MHz. The fast mode bus is connected to a single I.O. expander slave, while the fast mode plus bus is connected to four 16-bit LED drivers, three segment drivers, and two I.O. expanders. As you can see, the parallel bus requires multiple traces to talk to one device, in this case, the bus controller. From there, the bus controller serializes the data and only two wires are needed to talk to multiple devices. The second device I'll talk about comes from our I2C bridge family. It is a UART and 8-pin I.O. expander port with I2C or SPI host interface. This device is used where you have an available I2C or SPI port and need to add additional UART ports. With a generous 64-byte transmit and receive FIFO and a UART baud rate programmable up to 5 megabits per second, this bridge can find its home in many applications. On the host interface, the device supports fast mode or 400 kHz I2C bus speeds or 15 MHz SPI bus speed. The obvious benefit of this device is the simplicity of the host interface. Standard memory or I.O. mapped UARTs require 14 to 15 wires between the host controller and the UART. This device reduces the number of wires to two for I2C and four for SPI. This greatly reduces the number of traces on a PCB. A simple host interface comes in handy in an application where space is tight, for example, one of the latest applications for UARTs is in cell phones with two phone numbers. These cell phones typically have a GSM baseband IC as well as a CDMA baseband IC. And a UART is used as a communication channel between the two baseband ICs. Other applications in the mobile markets include a UART as a default interface for Bluetooth and GPS devices. In brick-and-mortar applications, UARTs are found in applications such as security systems and heating and cooling systems, also known as HVAC. The third and last device I'll talk about is the I2C bus master controller with a UART interface. In this scenario, we are filling the need to add an I2C bus master over a UART-driven line that could be up to a few hundred feet long. The host interface is a typical transmit and receive UART lines, the TX and RX. In addition to the I2C bus port, the device provides eight programmable I.O. expander pins. 
These pins can be used to perform control functions such as switches, on-off buttons, or sensors. The I2C controller supports I2C speeds of up to 400 kilohertz. If your application must be designed to control some I2C devices at a rather long distance, then this device may be suitable to your design. Or if you want to add I2C capability to your design through a simple host interface, then this device might be the solution. This table contains the part numbers of the I2C bus controllers and I2C bridges covered in this presentation. The PCA9663 and PCU9669 three-channel I2C bus controllers will be introduced soon. The PCU9669 has two ultra-fast mode channels that provide unidirectional I2C bus communications at 5 MHz. 